Hey guys, it's Tiffany Riley, and it's been a good while since I've done a video, so I thought I would just go ahead and do one today. So we are going to be continuing with my deconstructing from Christianity or any or any religion series. Uh, this is, I believe, episode four. I think episode four. I'm not really sure. Um, and this is going to be all about resources. Now, if you are deconstructed from Christianity or a specific religion, I highly suggest, and you're want to go to another religion, or if you want to go into spirituality, I highly recommend you do your research um, because spirituality is not for everybody. It's definitely not for. It's not for everybody. It just like a certain religion is not for everybody, and honestly, that is okay. It's 100% okay because, you know, we're all different and everything like that. So I kind of thought I would just share some resources that I have here with me today. Um, again, continue to do your research um, and what works best for you. So that's a disclaimer. So one of the books that I have with me today is called UBU by Jamie Ivey. And basically she talks about how... I ha now, most of these books I haven't even read yet, but just by the title, I can just tell you that basically she talks about being yourself and throwing out false definitions of success and um, that you must be someone else in order to be successful and to basically use the gifts that your God has given you. The second one is called Nothing to Prove, Why We Can Stop Trying So Hard by Jeannie Allen. And basically what this book is about is it's basically about fighting, finding freedom to release pressures to be perfect and that we have nothing at all to prove. The, the third one I have is called Over by Kelsey Grimm. Obvious. I mean, it's quite obvious. She basically talks about oh, being over expectations and um, being over perfection um, and just pretty much everything. Now this book I found in the, I believe, the Christian section of the religion um, part of my local bookstore. Uh, this one, it, this one's really good. It's called Essential Oils of the Bible, Connecting God's Word to Natural Healing. I 100% recommend this. Um, it's, even if you are a Christian, I 100% recommend this because it does talk about um, there's even a little recipes in here um, for common issues like inflammation, uh, hot flashes, indigestion, heartburns, hay fever, headache, grief, yes grief is in there, uh, fatigue, fever, ear infection, eczema, um, just a lot of stuff. And it also talks about, and it also has the herbs, and it talks about each one and of course it gives you the verse of scripture as well. So that's, I definitely recommend this one as well. The next one is called The Rock, The Road, and The Rabbi. My Journey into the Heart of Spiritual Faith and the Land Where It All Began by Kathy Lee Gifford with Rabbi Jason Sobel. Now this book, I, again, I haven't even read it yet, but it talks basically about... Um, so basically, it talks about the land of Israel and um, a rabbi's point of view of it. And now, I'm not sure if this rabbi is a Masonic Jew, Masonic Jew, basically um, a Jew who believes that Jesus is the Messiah, even though Jews do not believe that he's the Messiah, nor do they worship him at all. The next one is called Unqualified by Stephen Furtick. Um, I haven't really read this book. Um, a lot of these books that I'm going to get rid of, um, a lot of these books I'm going to end up reselling because they're taking up way too much space and I can feel myself doing away with Christianity after even just, you know, looking at the title and everything. I, of course, I haven't really had time to read them, but yeah. But this one's called Unqualified and basically what this book is about, of course, we all felt like we're unqualified to do something, especially if you're a Christian, you know. A lot of these toxic Christians say, well, you must do this, you know, to, or God won't accept you. This book, I highly recommend, um, 
because it talks because uh, Pastor Stephen talks about how God uses broken thing God uses broken things to or broken people to do big things. And then the last one I have is called "You're Not Enough" and that's okay. Escaping the toxic culture of self love. None of us are enough. Honestly, let's just, none of us are perfect. Let's just put that out right there. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. And basically, uh, this talks about a little bit. Uh, this book is this is by this is by um, Ali Beth Stuckey, I believe is her name. Um, and basically, uh, it just talks about how God sees you for you. And um, of course. Uh, there's a there's a title in here called me first and that's exactly what my pastor was talking about in one of the sermons um, but it basically it's talking about um, the reality is you're not enough you're never going to be enough and that's a okay because we have somebody because there's a creator there is a God who is enough and will help you through the journey okay so I have a couple of spiritual books here and I recently bought one today and it is called a little book on a big freedom discover the four elements of transportation transformation by heather ash amara and this is it talks about um and of course it talks about the four elements water earth fire and air and of course i'm reading it on the back i just got this today um air the art of seeing yourself and the world with clarity fire the art of cleansing what no longer serves you Water, the art of being open and creating space for change, and earth, the art of nourishment and self-care. So it just it's just packed. Again, I haven't I haven't even read this. I just bought this at my local bookstore today. So and I just saw it and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna read this and see what if there's what's going on and So yeah, that's basically everything. Um, that's my resources that I have, just some examples um, of the resources that I have and um, and do. Just some of the examples of resources that I have currently. Again, do what's best for you because not every deconstructing journey is the same. And everything. I hope you guys, and of course, if you want to, you, if, if you feel safe enough and feel comfortable enough, share your deconstructing journey below, or if you have another resource that helped you and may ha you think it'll help others, share them in the comments below. And as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. I apologize that my hair looks messy. I'm going to get it cut here soon, so this long hair will be gone very soon. The wounded femininity that I kept on, that I held on for such for a long period of time, is going to be gone. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll talk to you guys soon.